All right, hello. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, import uh, retarget uh, character skeletal meshes uh, that are similar to Unreal Mannequin uh, into third person shooter kit. Uh, that will be example for Paragon assets, uh, for Paragon characters. As you can see, already in pack, uh, already we have a, a Twin Blast, and we'll do it for player and AI. So let's get started. Uh, I added to project uh, a Belica, Belisha uh, character, uh, which is a regular humanoid, so it shouldn't be any problem uh, with her. Um, all right, so um, <clears throat> we need to go to skeleton of her and enable the target manager, which is here, and <clears throat> sorry, excuse me, and select the rig, uh, which is a Paragon Protory target, which is in um, Twin Blast folder already. There you go, uh, save it. And more or less, you're good. Um, okay, and um, let's go to let's go to Paragon Twin Blast folder, uh, animations, and there are two animation blueprints, uh, which I'll save. And you just need to right-click on it, retarget any blueprints, duplicate any blueprints in the target. And select your Belica character. Uh, as you can see, they have a similar poses, so it should be fine. Um, if you if you have a different poses, uh, for example, if the character has a T pose, uh, you can change the uh, retarget pose over here uh, in uh, in skeleton. There are um, there are already T pose and. Uh, Apos in for twin blast and mannequin in in the in the in the kit so um, uh, so you, so you can you can easily uh, change it then just in animations look for T pose yeah so there is like a T pose and uh, Apos if if you want to change it like animations and other poses uh, all right so basically I guess that's it. Let's try to uh, retarget this. Okay, Belica. Ah, and I, I will make a new folder for her. Uh, characters, heroes, Belica, and let's say TPS kit. Um, my names. <coughs> There we go. And as a suffix, I'll add Belica and change the folder to characters, heroes, Belica, and TPS kit animes. Awesome. And we should be good to go. Yes. Retarget. It will take a little bit. <coughs> The, the, what will happen, it will create all the animation references for these two blueprints, these two animation blueprints, there you go. Of course you can tweak it later, like swap the animations, there you go. So, she doesn't have a gun here of course, and this gun is uh, laying off, uh, but we'll fix it in a second. So, basically, it's... It worked. Um, I wanted to check the onion graph uh, for like motion. Um, yeah, movement velocity. She doesn't run for some reason, but uh, forget it for for now. 
Uh, let's let's uh, let's fix this. Uh, this gun, let's hide it. Uh, there is a material for it. Um, I guess it's called gun. Uh, let's see. Embellica guns. So let's change it to transparent. There you go. Now it's hidden. Um, you can't like. Uh, you would have to uh, rig again this this character to remove it. You can remove bones in Unreal, so that's how, that's how I can do it. Um, also, I seen the physics asset is not very accurate here, uh, so we will create a new one. Save the skeleton. Mm, create and then assign that will be like a default one okay cool and <clears throat> for the gun we'll just remove the you know uh, collision from from gun so it won't interfere so one less of course you can tweak and make it smaller uh, later uh, <coughs> excuse me uh, well, so we need to add sockets to this character. Uh, it's pistol, uh, pistol weapon socket, shotgun, and tripod socket. So, but we can uh, take it from uh, from uh, Twin Blast. Let's go to Skeleton Tree. There should be something like socket. And there we go. Uh, pistol socket, shotgun socket, and also rifle socket. Uh, we'll use the same uh, location and rotation for now. Uh, if it will like the gun will look like awkward, altered, uh, you can you can tweak it uh, amongst uh, here or in animation blueprint. Uh, it should work with uh, since the car paragon characters that are similar. It should work with just copying this uh, sockets and. Save it and go to skeleton tree here. It was hunt R right here. Should be something like paste sockets uh, to select bone. I guess this is it. Paste socket normally. Okay, let's see. Yeah, okay, I don't know if it worked. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Uh, so they're added. Uh, yeah, if you will like to target the different character or whatever, uh, you will need the the same. Uh, you will need this the sockets too because guns needs to be attached somewhere, and the logic will look for these three sockets. Um, one more thing would have done uh, before this video is uh, is uh, add. A, uh, dissolve function to materials. I didn't do it in this. I'm not going to do it in this video because it takes time to uh, recompile the material. Uh, if you want him her to to have like a dissolve effect, open a material and uh, select the main node, change it to mask, and add mf hide with dissolve just between here, and it will use the uh, it will use the dissolve uh, dissolve functions, uh, so he will she will like disappear smoothly and so on and so forth. So if you if you want it, of course. Um, what else we need? Uh, Mollus Mollus is okay. Uh, we'll see on the go. Um, let's close this. Uh, so we need um. We need a blueprint uh, for a player, right? Let's start with the player. Uh, let's go to TPP. Yeah, there it is. This TPP character, mannequin, and red already. So let's create a child blueprint of TPP character. And let's call her uh, Belika. Okay. Let's close it and reopen again so it will open this nice view okay so there should be Belika yeah there you go we changed the skeleton homage to Belika and there should be 
the Lika animation blueprint for player. Player, mm, well, her the, the the name is Twin Blast main player Belika. Of course, you can change the name uh, to Belika main player uh, later. Okay, um, it already should work, I think. Let's place it on the level. Okay, there she is. Uh, yeah, she has a uh, broken materials. Uh, go to uh, go to material and hmm, that's odd. Need to select the mesh first, I think. Yeah, select the mesh and that's something went wrong for the skin, I guess. Yeah, something went. Uh, Someone went into transparent. I guess I will reset this one. Oh yeah, eleven three. Uh, that's probably because uh, Twin Blast had more material IDs and t uh, it uh, copied from it. Okay, so let's compile and save. Uh, let's see. Ah, of course. Uh, of course, we need to possess her. Um, there she is. Okay. Okay, she's pretty much ready. Somewhat is working. Um, there are some. You know, she, uh, for example, with this pose, we can of course change it and tweak it. And but in general, she's working already. Uh, I'll show you how to tweak this pose, for example. Um, I think uh, we need to go. We need to, I will check for twin blast that um, in the target manager he should get the uh, uh, hands from uh, from um, yeah retargeting options from skeleton, but I'm not sure. Let's see. Yeah, so do the same the, from upper arm, I guess. Yep. Oh, there she. Is. There he is. From upper arm, uh, uh, left and right to downwards. Let's change it for for her to um, for her retargeting option to to take from skeleton. So it should look uh, should look better. Um, upper arm. That was upper arm and yeah. And hmm. uh, yeah, 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 nah, that's better. And set the recursive list uh, to skeleton, and also for upper armor R, set the recursive list to skeleton. Let's see it now. Oh man, it's better. <laughs> It's better, but it's too too close. I think it's because the uh, that was okay. Uh, I think it's because the twin blast is much taller. Uh, but we can change it. We can tweak it uh, very quickly. Let's go to um Jesus. twin blast Belika. That's her. Yeah, that's her blueprint. That helps. Yeah, there she is. Okay, uh, you can. Let's add her. Let's add uh, a gun, okay, pistol. Uh, this pistol socket. Yeah. Let's add the preview asset. Mm, I don't remember. I don't remember the names. Pistol. Yeah. Pistol. Twin blast gun. Let's add it to pistol socket. Yeah. And re uh, reopen it. Uh, reopen animation blueprint. As you can see, she can hold it. She holding it. So let's go to anim graph, and you can hear there are pistol, anim logic, uh, anim logic uh, and assault rifle and shotgun uh, for aiming and like uh, normal pulse. Here's in one special note for uh, that you can, uh, which you can tweak the pose as you can see very easily for her. Okay, and that's it. <laughs> And that's it, and the end pose is fixed. No need for animations. 
and I don't, let's check the aiming aiming the aiming is quite okay here's that the aiming like uh, now are just up for it just up from uh, the 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 patrolling one um okay it's almost look good but um let's change hunt our, our uh, elbow and let's point it forward which is um, yeah rotational hunt r hmm. okay I'm not sure if it's if you're pointing. Ah, yeah, yeah. I mean, screw this. Of course, you can tweak it better, make animation, and replace it with animation if you want. I'm doing it just very quickly to just just to show um, how it works. Yeah. Okay, so that that will be her aiming pose. Let's maybe put the elbow up. Oh, all right, there it is. And of course, and for the AI, it works the same. There are same nodes. Whoops. Okay, that's it. Let's see in the game. You can change the. You can change it for the. Uh, also for the other guys. I'm not going to do it uh, just to make it bigger. Okay. okay, and one I guess one more thing is that. Let's uh, reopen this. Mm, Belica. Mm, for some reason, I can't see the details. Uh, all right, defaults. Sorry. Okay, let's look for montage. Yeah, there are some montages that need to you need to replace too. Um, it should be uh, it should be named the same with the Belica at the end. Uh, because the montages are retargeted too, so you basically swap it like climb to crouch to climb to crouch Balika, uh, pistol butt attack uh, to pistol butt attack Balika, and so on and so forth. Sidekick attack, sidekick attack Balika, assassination killer. There it is. Weapon swing. Hopefully, it will work. Uh, turning additive, mm, barely can't, there it is, pistol reload, pistol reload, there it is, uh, rifle reload, there it is, shotgun reload, you can easily find it by, see the dirty mark that is, it, it's not safe yet, uh, roll left, there it is, and roll right, my roll to stand. Okay, hopefully it will be okay for the player. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's reload. There it is. Okay, reload now. Let's see that. Okay, she can roll now. She can. Uh, I don't know if you use her gun to <laughs> for a melee attack kick. Okay, so montages are working. Um, and it should be it should be fine for the player already, I think. Then, as I said, the poses uh, you can tweak the poses in the animation blueprint for the shotgun and so on and so forth. Uh, I did it only for the pistol now. Um, okay, let's do it for the AI, I guess for now. Um, so let's go to blueprints. There should be like human AI and per personal shooter AI, and let's. Great child blueprint class, which will be called Awesome Bellica. Okay, in here, um, in here, let's swap the mesh for Bellica. Bellica. There it is, and animation blueprint to ABP Bellica AI. Okay, it's already working, and more or less, it's a it's done, <laughs> but uh, similar like in um, in player we need to swap the montages for for her skeleton for the reload. Uh, so reload 
rifle reload and shotgun reload okay and I'm not sure how her poses would look like for AI but it should be very similar to um, to player right yeah probably you will have to do the same for the player for the AI I mean uh, so just tweak this node yeah uh, like a hand R like the elbow oops there it is rotation of her right hand well AI should also point somewhere somewhere straight Oops. Okay. There it is. Yeah, a little awkward. <laughs> Still, let's change the angle a little bit. Okay, you get the idea probably already. Um, should point. Should she should point somewhere forward, right? Like this. Okay, let's comply save and let's put her into the level let's put the nav mesh first nav mesh plus volume there it is let's increase it okay okay there's not much cool okay that's it a hey, belica let's select her Put her over here. Oh man, there she is. Okay, let's have to test it. Have to yes, we should. No! Yeah, yeah she, she can like um, uh, also this, this uh, army is off because we didn't, uh, we screwed up the, this thing. Uh, of course, she should like point forward now. She's pointing a little. Ah, because the the traces are going from from her um, you know from pistol oh there you go it should be much better uh, you can of course debug this and tweak it as you want like you can increase the uh, you can increase the yeah <laughs> Uh, increase the error scale so, uh, so the interface will be more, much more different. So, uh, let's look at this one right here. Oh shit, excuse me. Yeah, as you can see, there is a default effect. Okay, yeah, that. Okay, so basically she's working, and also you can in um, in uh, in the mesh settings you can change mesh uh, for her, which is like a different skin, and because there is like number of number of skins here, Belika, Biohazard, whatever. What's that? <laughs> yeah, she's just yell. Yeah, now she's yellow. Yeah, of course, um, the gun is hanging out. Uh, uh, select her and for the gun, gun material somewhere. Mm, tin line occlusion. Where is the gun? Here it is, gun. Just, I think you can even clear it. No, you can't. Uh, so, transparent material. Transparent. And it, that's it. And it won't be visible anymore. Okay, uh, so basically that's it. That's how we imported the uh, Paragon character uh, into, into the first person shooter kit. And play with it, give me the feedback, tweak the 
you can tweak the poses with uh, IK um, if you don't like these ones, uh, which I recommend. This one is good. This one is a little awkward. Uh, hopefully that will help you with your game. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Mm-hmm.